And now on to the men's leading goal kicker award. Some of the club's biggest names have won Adelaide's leading goal kicker, including Brownlow medalist Mark Rusciuto and Coleman medalist Tony Modra, who was the Crows' leading scorer for five straight seasons between 93 and 97. Coming in second this season was Shane McAdam, but adding another leading goal kicker award to his trophy cabinet this season is... Taylor Walker has won Adelaide's leading goal kicker for the fourth time, going back to back after also claiming the award in 2019. Walker has also won the award in 2011 and 2012 and joins Scott Welsh and Eddie Betts as four time winners. The left boot of Taylor Walker. Only Tony Modra has won it on more occasions, claiming it five times between 1993 and 1997. While Modra sits unmatched in the annual award, Walker overtook the goal-kicking great in round 18 to become Adelaide's all-time leading goal-kicker. So Taylor, I'll ask you to come forward if you haven't already. It's very difficult to see from up here. There he is, the big fella. And this award will be presented by Mark Rusciuto, who of course won this award back in 2006. Yeah, <laughs> when you're ready, Tex. So as we've just heard, Taylor's added all-time greatest goal kicker for the Adelaide Football Club to his resume, Don't Go Away, which is a terrific milestone. Club legend Tony Modra held this club record for the past 22 years with 440 goals. Taylor equaled that record in round 16 at Adelaide Oval against the Giants, but it was the final round of the season that he kicked his 441st goal, as we heard. Let's take a look at a few of his most memorable goals. Opening term, MCG, and he's equal to the big stage in his first game. Walker, we well, might line up again. From 50, drives it long. Spectacular. The biggest moment of his career. And he nails it. Good hands, been takes good off, bangs it long. about it. Oh. He steps inside and the Adelaide skipper from 55 trying to give his side a team lifting goal. 55 metres out, a hoisting big ball. Tex Walker has kicked a big one. To be the leading goal kicker ever at the Adelaide Crows, Tex Walker does it. Indeed. Well, Tex, you've booted yourself into the club's history books with this award. How does that feel? Uh, pretty humbling, but I think it's one of those things that I think post-career you'll sit back and maybe when I'm in a pub in Broken Hill you'll be able to speak to your mates about it. But I think the position we play, we're a byproduct of the way the ball comes in and I wouldn't have been able to do that without the players up the field. Did you have a call from Mods after you broke the record? I did. What did he say? He said, congratulations, you little prick. Um, <laughs> if I wanted to give it to anyone, I'd want to give it to a good country boy, so. Because, and we'll catch up for a beer soon. Oh, that's very fitting, because he has given you some feedback before, hasn't he? I think when you kicked six at Amy Stadium one day, he said Which something. Which day was that, Jess? Well, I just, one of those days. Okay. What did he say to you that day? That he said, if I, kick six, that, <laughs> if I kicked six, then I would have been dropped, so. <laughs> I thought, shit, I used to watch you play and you say that to me, so thank you, Tony. Vintage. Anthony, I would have called him. Probably. Vintage mods. Um, Tex, you achieved your 200 game milestone this season as well. What does that mean to you as somebody that is so passionate about this club? Oh, I think it's another thing that once 
once my footy career finishes, I'll be able to look back on. Um, I was a little kid from Broken Hill that all I wanted to do was play AFL, let alone play for my club that I loved and, and break for. So I'm forever grateful and I feel like I'm in debt to this football club to be able to play 200 games for this footy club means a lot to me and my family. And um, yeah, I'll be forever proud and humbled to be able to play so many games for this footy club. You're a role model to so many of the young boys around the club. Do you feel a sense of responsibility? I, I know that you really enjoy that part of it, don't you? Well, some of them. Some listen, some don't, <laughs> Jess. You've got kids. <laughs> no, I enjoy it. I love it. I, well, you talk about this year, well, zero and 13, but I get a sense of satisfaction that we, we have young kids debuting. And it wasn't a club that, when we were zero and 13, it was all... Um, doom and gloom it was we were coming into the footy club and still having fun and the young guys were able to create the energy and create the um, culture of our footy club so that got me out of bed every day to come in and, and really enjoy it so um, yeah I, I loved it and continue to enjoy it until that day when I finish. Talking of little kids, the off season you're spending, looking forward to spending more time with little Hugo. We'll be having a birthday soon, I understand. A good excuse to have all the boys around for a bit. Yeah, any excuse <laughs> to get the boys around for a bit, Jess. Um, yeah, Hugo will be one in November, but we've got we've got a few um, uh, boys and girls that are having their first yeah. birthday over the next five, six. Sunny was one last week. Um, Hazel's Hazel was birthday. Today. Yeah, her birthday tomorrow, so. We'll, We'll have a few beers tomorrow, Jess. <laughs> to I'm stretch sure. it out. Hazel won't care if we have a few or we don't. But um, I don't think Hugo will care either. He'll never know. But we'll have a bit of fun, Jess. I think you probably will. I think you're already probably having a bit too, which is good. Why not? Wrapping it up. Thank you so much for your time. And Thanks, congratulations Jess. on the award.